Hello. My name is Amin. Amin. I have one thing to say to you and one question. Is this okay? If you have a question, then you can also say something, otherwise not. Okay. So it's okay, yeah. So the question first. Oh, you can say first, because after the question, I may not let you sit there, so <laughs> better take the chance to say what you have to say. So, and take your time, don't be, we have enough time. Thank you. This is a little difficult for me. The thing I wanted to say is, you look like my sister. When I saw you on YouTube, it took my breath. She took her life. It's 2016 she did this. And when that happened, I realized my ego. It took a few years, then Kundalini started to rise. Now I'm over four years in this, and this belongs to my question now. I did so many things. I tried. And Gondolini has changed me a lot and I'm grateful. There's this pain. I don't know how to deal with it. I've listened to your satsang. I'm hearing your voice. Surrender. I try. And I don't know how to go further. The pain in the first years was extraordinary. But when I listened to you, surrender, the first time it was much easier, way easier. I still feel this pain. I don't know what to do. This is the first time I'm abroad and I came to India to see you. And I'm asking you, can you help me? Can you tell me what's the next step? What, what should I do? How many days are you here? Not long. For one week. That's okay, that's fine. Which place are you from? I live in Germany and my parents come from Morocco. Morocco. Germany. Since you got the Kundalini uh, disturbance, did you, uh, have you been able to work or study or whatever you're doing? It was next in university, yes. You completed? I completed. Good. Where's the pin? Only that side? One side? That side, yeah. Is it less when you do the Sashtanga Namaskar, when you bend down on the floor? Does it change something? Actually not. So how does it improve the... the you watch the videos, right? Yes. And so what was it that you did that helped it to improve? Or did it improve? It improved. It's the mindset. It is not going against it, fighting it, thinking like this is something bad. How do you measure that improvement? Is the pain less? Is the resistance less? What happens? My mind comes up. When you do the Sashtanga Namaskar, when you bend down, see the point about Kundalini is that the bigger the ego, the easier the Kundalini can get disturbed because 
it then it goes into overdrive in the system and it forces the person to bend because unless they bend the pain won't go so that's the mechanism of it the dynamics right so you don't have to worry so much because if you even physically bend leave away the conceptual bending that is anyway very challenging but if you even physically bend already it starts the quietening down of ma kundalini shakti she'll quiet down and then you can also look at an emotional bending what is that emotional bending when the shakti is disturbed that emotional bending means you start to grow that love and devotion in your heart because the bigger the ego the less the love you know ego is falsehood it is the opposite of love which is that which is the central impulse of your system that is love the truth the soul you know so the conceptual is always questioning am i crazy this can't be true this is just some strange indian thing uh, what is this kundalini does it exist does it not exist maybe it's a neurological disorder i will go to this doctor to that doctor. all of those conceptual gymnastics happen because of the ignorance about kundalini shakti which is okay we can keep the conceptual ignorance aside but emotionally you can bend you have within you you have the cosmic impulse the soul the antar atman that is your antar guru and you come from an islamic background even though it's not extremely islamic but it's still islamic which means it's a it's an abrahamic background which means very difficult to accept guru vada to accept an external guru there's a direct resistance to that built into your genetic inheritance you can unbuild it but that's not the the work of the moment it is to just develop this love this devotion and if you don't have this for a guru outside yourself you have your antar guru always everyone has the antar guru that was put there especially for those that were abrahamic <laughs> <laughs> final chance that love that devotion is to that antar guru if you don't have a guru outside that you can you can actually bend down to because that's not your culture then you bend down inward at least it's much more challenging and more difficult but it is the way to go if you don't feel culturally connected with guru vada when you have this physical bending and you have the emotional bending two parts of your being of this six layered consciousness are already in bending state love devotion quiet quiet bending to the antar guru antar guru antar guru this body is only an instrument only an instrument only an instrument nothing more an instrument of what of the truth it's only an instrument only an instrument and you're bending and bending and bending its instrument it's an instrument in your daily life in your university out in the city out in the market out with friends only an instrument only an instrument only an instrument continuously reminding yourself of that it's only an instrument okay the instrument has pain i bend i don't bend to the pain i bend to the truth so you do this again and again and again and now you after this particular answer you go and you stretch yourself out receive be in a state of receiving be in a state of surrender be in a state of being an instrument of the truth nothing more and nothing less that pain is not something which will stay with you will go away 
you know. But if you hold on to the ego and you, uh, you know, you, you, you rock it around with you all the time, it won't work. So it's, let the conceptual be, because you're, you, you were born in Germany, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Those are the greatest thinkers on the planet. You have the greatest philosophers in the Western world. They all were there in that small country, thinking their way through to eternity. <laughs> all the great thinkers and writers and poets, I mean, they, every square meter of that country is full of thinkers. But they are thinkers, they are not knowers necessarily. And that's the problem. So, it is now, the first step is not to, uh, to try to quiet the conceptual. Let the conceptual, let the thinking do what it has to do. You focus on bhakti, devotion. You focus on this body being an instrument in Sashtanga Namaskar at all times. And you will see, you know, your life will just change. It will just, everything starts to change. It also depends on your cultural, like what do you do uh, in terms of your religious inheritance, you know. It's not an easy inheritance, Islamic inheritance. It's very challenging. Because you know what your holy books say and it's there as part of your history, you know. It's behind you. And it's something you can't just say, oh no, that's not me. It is also something you have to transform within yourself your inheritance. It's not a good or bad thing, it's just... religion, when it is so powerful, just suppresses everything, you know. And you have to grow from bottom up, as an individual, having faith in yourself, knowing that you are the divine within, that that divine cosmic impulses within you. Allah is a creation of the human. The human being created Allah. Allah didn't create the human being, just to simplify it now. Or God or... All those things are there in the conceptual, so let it be. Don't think too much. Just feel devotion in yourself, bending, bending, bending. And now you do the Sashtanga Namaskar. And when you do the Sashtanga Namaskar, you... you put yourself in a state of receiving. Make this body an instrument of the cosmic impulse of the Antar Atman, of the Antar Guru. Make it an instrument. And then I don't see how this pain is going to last. I mean, unless it has a massively physiological basis, which it doesn't look to me like it does, because if you were in Germany, you already showed it to many doctors. Yes. And they won't find anything. No. Because it's Ma, it's Shakti. It will be all right, there's a humility in you also. It's not that you're just like this big, huge ego walking around on toothpicks, it's you, you understand the dynamics because you suffer. Those who suffer from the disturbed Kundalini seem to understand it. And you can always see me as your sister, yes? Yes, thank you. Go and do the Sashtanga Namaskar. Just don't bang any of those various tripods. Arms stretched out, 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 more, more, more. Yes, very quietly over there, receiving this body as an instrument of the truth. An instrument of the truth. And stay there as long as you can without pain in the rest of the body. I'll take the next question. Uh, 
Ja. Once more after, the pain is gone again. You can sit down, then again do it, wherever you find a place. Okay. Keep on doing it through the satsang unless you have a question. Ask him how he's feeling. Is there any change? In It's a pain less, but yes, painless. Yeah, okay. It's not able to do it for long. Ha! Huh, he should get up. Then again, go down. Again. It, tomorrow it'll be longer and then longer and then it'll quiet down. That devotional aspect is very important because that is not something that is learned, you know, from childhood. Bhakti. Bhakti. The approach is conceptual. It has to become devotional. Then the Shakti, the Kundalini Shakti quiets down. How many people here today with Kundalini stories? Can you put your hands up so that I can see? One, two, three, one, two. Well, it's ongoing with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your name is Juliana, right? How is it? It's more quiet or it's still active? What's going on? Up and down. Ego up, disturbance up. Ego down, disturbance down. It's okay. I heard. satsang with Maharishi Kapriti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below.